Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Pyramid. Satisfying that itch. Scratching, if you will. It's time for a Leapfrogger's game. It's been a minute since we got a nice little Leapfrogger game. And it's on the back of that stolen gold. It's still busted. Turns out that just making it rarer doesn't address how strong it is. And yeah, it may be slightly slower to get online, but let's be real here. Stolen gold gives you so much power so quickly. It's not okay that a two star in combination with a five star and miscellaneous death rattle beasts is enough to beat 90% of late game boards. That's just crazy. And that needs to be nerfed. All right, enjoy. Leapers. Sleepers! It's a stolen gold lobby now. Light Fang, add Murlocs or Naga is doable. For Ghastly Mass, this is actually playable. But we've been offered stolen gold in a beast lobby. Don't bring it up again, Bofer. There's a right way to bring it up. And then there's a wrong way to bring it up. I thought Light Fang was bad in this meta. Why is Light Fang bad in this meta? If there's anything you should take away from, from my analysis and discussion, it's that everything is situational based upon the game that you play it in. Do we like stats or do we like gold here? We don't need gold for next turn, but two turns from now would be decent. Don't bring it up again. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. But if you think about, like, what was the objective at the end of yesterday? The objective, the only thing that I can take away that the objective of the person making the point was, like, they wanted to say you're wrong. And you just kind of have to shrug at those scenarios because it just does not matter if I'm right or wrong. We move forward in a play that was two turns ago doesn't affect your game at all anymore. You just have to look at the next board and figure out what to do. All right, we can take a dragon to take the attack on the Chroma Wing and we take the gold. Considering that gold is good for getting this online, and we're going to need to look for a triple anyway. I think we just take the the good minion. We put some stats on the Chroma Wing to buy us time in the mid game. And then we hope that we can find a way to play into Leapfroggers after buying some more minions here. This is about the only outcome that could have happened here. The ghost disappeared. There's no such thing as ghosts. 100% my focus is on the dog cam. Lee's being pretty cute today. You're in luck. All right. How do we do this? Triple buy this turn. I don't hate sewer rat. I don't hate bronze ward and I don't hate selfless era. Are dragons still an option in this lobby? Nope. Nope. Never playing dragons from this point. We didn't get scaling on two. They're a snowball tribe. We've got stolen gold and we have a leapfrogger. The direction is clear to us. Doesn't mean we aren't going to make use of this to stay alive. Health on other minions doesn't matter that much. And it looks to me like we're not going to play toward the selfless hero. Instead, we're just going to power level. I don't love losing this round, but it's a risk we were willing to take. What was that? What was this kill everything up front so the fish can get full value thing? This is bullshit. 
It's terrible. SMH my head, dude. Two Terragosas in the next shop? Yeah, they would not be playable. Those are not playable cards. I don't hate gold. Got Reborn and then Terracosa. Put in the test to whether or not Terracosa is playable, considering that it would be quite literally the last gold on the board. <laughs> we can roll once. We can get Terracosa online next turn and gold it. It's just an 8-8 though. But do we value an 8-8 at this point in the game? Two triples. Leapers? I'm, I'm aware of leapers, guys. I'm aware of what we're doing. But we don't have Baron yet. And you have to make decisions in the mid-game that get to this point. I like keeping the gold. it's a wildfire I think it is stronger for the short term and when we get it online next turn we have a golden wildfire with a bunch of health and that tries to buy us time also boo two triples into brand murlocs is not a beatable mid game board at least we didn't take too much damage here Like, we're nothing unless we get Baron in this game. Terracos is not a viable line. Okay, conceded. Second Leapers! I'd really, really, really like the level. But unfortunately, we can't do that. Not if we want stolen gold online this turn. Could play six minions and have... Have stolen gold online. That may be the play. If you gold the leapfrogger, it's literally like two leaps on average. This thing is like a 6-6. Six, six. That's such an unfortunate taunt here. Right, we're going to get some value off the second hit. It's going to happen. I lied. It's not going to happen. Oh boy, three, four bounces. The best. It's all right. Could hit left and prevented a little damage, but like we're not really dealing with a was that three times red hand buff? That's nutty. Hey Bofer, how you doing today? Pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Like, this is nasty, man. Actually nasty. Stolen gold mama bear. I'm gonna take the buff. We're gonna taunt this thing oftentimes anyway. Can pick up the Uther. We have a free round. I don't think we play in the Pale Scale because of the free round. Pass? We all know what we're looking for. On the other hand, we could pick up things like, you know, High Main instead of Spawn here because it is cheap. Discount turn. Or we just hard roll for for Baron. Even if we get Baron though, we need to play like a taunt slash another death rattle minion on the board. 
So it isn't exactly a lot of cost to play the high main here. And the mama bear for the short term really likes the high main too. If you're not first, you're last. That is like not the hearthstone mentality. Average placement matters more than anything. He is trivial. We're looking for Baron. We're gonna make some gonna make some things happen here. Make leapers happen. Be a murrow on the next board and we'll get fish. <laughs> yeah. That's the play. Pale skill is definitely a debatable card, but it's only for tempo. And when we have the ghost round. Man, we are just like so close. Baron. These aren't Baron. Baron. Next board, right? It's obviously Baron on the next board. I meant the next next board. This one. I feel lied to. Sell dragon leap harder. Yes. Let's do. Let's do. I'm not sure if 522 does more than the 10-8. At this stage of the game. I like Macaw Pair. I think this is all down the Baron, though. This buys us a turn, most likely. But it all just comes down to the Baron. If that was a 5-whatever, he gets a second cleave off. Let's go! Mama Bear value! Look how big that rat is. You can sell the dragon and have 20 20 leapers that'd be awesome just so many leapers that's a baron that's definitely a baron all right get the bad beast off the board over this all right we need taunt and we need to clean up this board unironically ghoul lever You sure? <laughs> you positive? But what about ghoul? Have you considered the ghoul though? I can take little taunt, I guess, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. That's a good one. It's very spooky. Hide, Baron. Do we need to safeguard anything? The Mama Bear has done the job where we would be considering if all these things are like 3 or 2 health, just using one hero power on each to prevent ghoul stuff. But the Mama Bear in the mid game has gotten these guys to be reasonably sized. Got a little bit of an issue with the Mama Bear. We need this to die. Macaw's not going to get good value here no matter what we do. We could try to pull Mama Bear to the front. Remember, this is Golden Baron, though, so we get a ton of value. Nine triples Murlocs is pretty huge, though. We need to be able to get, like, another another Sewer Rat rolling. If we don't taunt this, that's just so bad sometimes. Like, he just has little taunt. And we just get fucked! Alright, well. Mama Bear, do your magic. It's a start. All right, all right, all right. Crazier shits happened. Ooh, those are pretty decent hits. We got lucky. We got lucky here. You just feel that way sometimes, you know? Just get 
a little bit lucky. Need to buy our time. Need taunts still for this guy. Rat good though. No. Another Baron? Rat? Meh. Not necessary. Yeah, one taunt and we are like super strong. Macaw's good. Macaw's necessarily great. Without taunt, we still have the same loss condition. We're going to keep this on the board. We're going to pull this toward the front. We're going to put this in over the mama bear. I like it. I want it for the long term, but fixing this is more important to me than, than getting this. We have two rolls still. Cool. It's almost good. With the way our board is situated, it guarantees the kill on the Leapfrogger. It triggers this and this thing at the same time and this, which means that it spawns all the rats. It's very close. Can Reef get a Taunter? Is it Tribal? There's one thing that's a one turn taunt that's Tribal. You can take the shot for it. Likelihood of hitting it's super low and you have to sell the Glow Scale in order for it to happen. Which I don't want to sell the Glow Scale. The Taunt on the board is good for us. Can debate on these swapped. We really just need this to trigger a couple times. And considering the Wind Fury problem, I'm glad we have it this order. Because we just need a couple triggers. Unfortunately, he gets the, the nice hit there. Still okay, though. We don't need to be as big of a possible number as humanly possible. What we need is just to reliably get a few things to proc because Golden Baron's going to take care of the rest against this board. The later the game goes, the more value we're going to need to get off of Baron. But right now, a couple procs is a win. Good enough. I smell a W. I smell a bunch of rounds where we're going to be heavily favored but have like a 15% chance to die. The true leapfrogger's way. Right, Reborn's nasty. We just need... Okay, there you go. We need you. I will play six minions before I will keep one of those things on the board at this point. Good enough. Could hold two gold for next turn. Could argue rat pack merit. Rat pack merit. Wipers. Second glow scale is interesting. We don't do a lot to improve this board. We're better off playing down minions to reliably get the taunts right now. Glow Scale is just a good card. It's a targetable Divine Shield. We can go on the Macaw. I don't like this. M Macaw! <laughs> Why you gotta be this way? Whatever. It's fine. It's whatever. Like, we don't need the absolute biggest Leapfrogger. What we need is the most resilient Leapfrogger to low rolling. Because Golden Baron goes a long way to making a couple leaps into a, t a billion stats. Yo, Ben Gad with the Prime sub a couple minutes ago. Mikester Like with the 13 months. A true skin with the bits. 
113 bits, 113 bits. Dreadmark with the Prime sub. Yo, guys. Y'all far too kind. No. No. What's on your board exactly? No. Absolutely not. Dragons. Shouldn't be too scared. Glow scale probably doesn't need to be committed this turn. Can play seven minions with a glow scale on the board. Minus ten Keck W. I see your wind furies. I do. But our Baron is protected. He's hiding. Acceptable. Good. Good. Now hit the poison. That's nah, not the poison. Fairly irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, but you know. Could have hit the poison. <laughs> then it would pop. Or two heroes if you're poor. True. True, true, true. It's unlikely to be useful. But we might be able to make it use. Make use of it. We can play this thing into Reborn if we thought we needed the stats. And play both glow scales to board so we have the reliable taunts. The elemental was the scary person. And where is the elemental board? Oh, there it is. Dead. We killed him. Dragons don't do nearly as much to counter us. I'm a free to play 6k MMR Andy. I don't even see. You don't even get vision of the game? Man. The free to play experience really is terrible, isn't it? Then again, I wasn't able to see most of the, the fucking first game when we played with the premium board. Ah. Good level. Really, at this point, it's just like Macaw that we play into. Maybe another glow scale for next turn to have two more shields. Could taunt this. Hold this for next turn for taunt. If we're going to taunt this, though, we oftentimes can consider that we commit uh, glow scale here against the last guy or this guy just so we don't get scammed by the ghost. Because it's last round, right? I've gone from top 50 to conceding 25% of my games thanks to the free-to-play changes. So you're having more fun now, right? That was the upside. We're having more fun now that we're free-to-play. I get it. I do. But, uh... That's the world we're in right now. Actually, yes. I mean, that's, a, that's good. It doesn't fix the problem, but, you know... At least you can have fun. Did they change free to play? No, they just changed the monetization scheme where now you have no ability to use gold to buy the tavern pass, which sucks. That happened a long time ago, remember? It's a shitty, shitty change for the free to play experience. I'm still enjoying BGs even without the perks. Yep, I get it. That'd probably be my mentality if I was a casual, like, if I was a play two or three games kind of player. The average player. Just free to meme, exactly. Just do whatever you're going to do, just do it two years. Free to meme. I'm going to look for Macaw. If I don't get Macaw... I'm not sure this is worthwhile... I'm Divine Shielding you. I'm Taunt Divine is Shielding you. Which means I don't care about this. I'd rather have them back in the pool. I'm not going to Reborn Leapfrogger. I might Reborn Leapfrogger, actually. 
think I am. I want to know Divine Shield would be like the best hit. Interesting rat. Because what I was planning on doing was having this thing pop after this and just taunting up the board again. Now I could have a rat instead. Is that more robust? Probably not. Because he always goes first. Wind Fury Cleave. Nice. That's fine. Like, we counterplayed that one. He can't beat us with Wind Fury Cleave. Oh, it's not even Wind Fury Cleave. It's just literally Cleave. It's just a question of, like, what does he try to do to counter what we're doing here? And that's not going to do it. They're huge. Rats crush. All right. We'll take the W. We probably kill him. The Baron is exposed. It can't die to the cleave, so this value trades, which means we kill him. Cool. Nice, 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 nice. We get to take our W home. We got a Leapfrogger's win today. Feels good. Stolen Gold is still a problem card. Turns out that making it rarer didn't fix the fact that it's still super powerful. Weird how that works, right? Making it offered less didn't change the balance of the card. You literally did nothing to the card or the quest. He's made it rarer for it to happen in your lobbies. Still beats the shit out of everything.